Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. Uh, today we're gonna do the major plus gold and oil and uh, of course for those of you who are hungry for more and want to see the whole 20 markets and even more than that uh, you are welcome to uh, join our trading channel where I do these videos every single day and uh, follow ups during the day. So uh, as for now we do have an offer, you can join the trading room 14 days trial for only $1. If you want to join just click the link in the description below and um, use the coupon code trial. So uh, while I roll the intro and disclaimer, hit the like button for me and if you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Yeah, welcome back guys. A quick look at the news for the next week. Um, as you see, Monday we do have uh, the Japanese market on holiday. Tuesday uh, we do have um, PPI month on month from the US, USA, uh, President Draghi have a speech and uh, a very very important thing is uh, the parliament uh, Brexit vote on uh, Tuesday so you really really need to be aware of that and probably be out of uh, any sterling or um, euro trade because it's gonna affect both of them mostly sterlings of course and uh, this is a very important event so we're gonna see a very big volatility as we had 2016 uh, the night of uh, the brexit vote now uh, a little bit of uh, scenario way what may happen and what uh, is uh, the vote about as you see here we do have the vote uh, on uh, Theresa May's Brexit deal on Tuesday in the Parliament and these are the scenarios if it pass it it passes then uh, the UK will leave uh, EU the 29th of March but if it got rejected which is mostly expected of the market that mean uh, we have a lot of uh, other uh, choices so if uh, rejection happened the government has uh, three parliamentary working days to set out a plan of action if they have any right now and uh, there is these five options no deal renegotiation um, general election referendum or a vote of no confidence can be triggered so this is a very very major event and you should keep an eye on that as i said maybe you need to stay away of the sterling pairs uh, on uh, at least on uh, monday and tuesday to see what may happen um, follow that on wednesday we have another sterling uh, news but this is not the still uh, everything gonna be shadowed by uh, the brexit vote uh, thursday the g20 meeting starts and uh, bog kuroda to speak uh, and um, friday cpi month on month from the canadian and uh, for the sterling retail sales yet again the whole uh, upcoming week and even month gonna be all about the brexit so depends on what will happen on tuesday so uh, let's hit the chart we start with the dixie as usual and uh, we see that what i mentioned uh, last week that uh, this dollar weakness could continue we got that continuation to the downside another uh, bearish week uh, but what happened we didn't really close at the lows below previous um, low here uh, we've got um, a push back up from these areas and um, we closed below the 200 weekly moving average as well but when we look at the daily we see that this uh, bounce to the upside happened at um, a pretty good uh, support and resistance level looking left here it was acting as good uh, resistance many times support here and here we got the bounce the 200 moving average is uh, also just below that and the monthly s2 so this is a pretty interesting area here uh, what we want to see if uh, this was it this was the whole move to the downside or if there is uh, more to it so uh, <clears throat> for now i think we may get 
a uh, bounce a little bit more to the upside maybe to retest the 9615 area this is a pretty nice uh, level of uh, uh, support and resistance even where the market is testing right now is also a good uh, support and resistance level that we may uh, stop at so for our time frame we see uh, this more clearly this area we are testing right now um, it is also yet uh, another level of uh, support and resistance so we should keep an eye on that because on the four hour we're still uh, doing lower lows and lower highs uh, this move here was um, our first higher low and a higher high above previous area here but again we reached a possible at least a minor resistance level that could give uh, a bounce to the downside <clears throat> if this area got broken then the next trouble level to the upside uh, should be uh, this level of uh, support and resistance that we also uh, should keep an eye at uh, during next week <clears throat> gold if we go to the weekly on gold we see that um, we reached an er a pretty nice area of interest here um, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement of this whole move uh, previous uh, area here was an area of uh, resistance we didn't really reach that uh, 1303 level uh, but you see that last week we failed yet again to make a new high um, the RSI is already at the um, overbought here uh, making a hidden bit uh, hidden bearish divergence as you see if we gonna compare this high and this high the RSI is already higher than this area so <clears throat> could be um, showing a possible uh, sh at least short-term reversal and uh, on the daily we end up uh, going uh, sideways the whole week uh, so the question here if we are uh, preparing for a possible correction back down toward this level that we mentioned last week as a possible um, area of uh, resistance so what i'm looking for if this will happen this week that we get this uh, push to the downside and maybe the continuation yeah uh, on the daily we are back above the 200 moving average looking uh, like uh, looks like a nice health healthy trend um, and uh, yeah once again we uh, did not uh, make new highs could be a double top here uh, start having some divergence uh, on the RSI as well bearish divergence and um, this is uh, the new range we have uh, we have uh, been trading in this range uh, for like a week or so and we should be uh, using that range as our uh, level of interest yeah and uh, as usual when we trading in a range sell the high buy the low until you have a breakout if the breakout happened to the downside this will signal a possible at least a uh, correction down toward these areas here around the monthly pivot point uh, before a bounce uh, probably a bounce to the upside uh, oil also reached uh, an interesting level of uh, resistance if we look at the weekly uh, it done a nice push from uh, this support level and now testing a level of uh, resistance looking left we see that this area been a good level of both support and resistance in the past we also do have the 200 um, weekly moving average we have the monthly r1 at this area as well on the daily it looks like this when uh, this market pushed all the way up here the rsi was already uh, on the uh, overbought this is also making a hidden bearish divergence if we compare uh, this high and this high on the RSI but on the price we have like equal highs yeah so we do have a hidden bearish divergence here we do have uh, this uh, <coughs> res possible resistance area where the price is testing right now and uh, one could expect um, at least a short term drop to the downside from here yeah uh, so if we go down to four hour <coughs> We will see that we have uh, this uh, possible trend line that um, we could say that it is uh, broken but still we are sitting on this uh, support level yeah so for more downside we need to see a 
um, a clear break below that, then a retest and maybe a deeper correction once again here. Uh, so the area is a resistance level. That's why I am looking for uh, uh, at least a short term correction. Going back to the daily, we see we've done a pretty nice move to the upside without any correction. This uh, was like uh, 10, seven bars of uh, seven bullish bars in a row here. And it uh, could be time for uh, once yet once again a possible correction, maybe toward this uh, neckline here. It was not test retested yet on higher time frame. Um, EURUSD also reached an interesting level here uh, on the bounce to the upside. Um, looking on the weekly, one, yet once again we keep talking about this 200 moving average on the weekly and this rounded bottom here. So we've got the breakout uh, that I mentioned last week, but uh, we didn't uh, really hold the high. Uh, the price got pressured back down from uh, this interesting level up here. Yeah, So this is a uh, really old uh, support and resistance level if we look left here. And that's why we've got this rejection on the daily. We see also uh, this level more uh, in details here, what been happening at this area when the price reaches these levels. Uh, but still, um, what happened was a break above this whole neckline. We reached this level, could be a possible correction before the next bounce to the upside. So I'm interested to watch this area next week to see how this uh, level uh, on the four hour time frame uh, will, uh, will do. In my opinion, as far as this low is not broken or taken out, this could uh, be uh, still be a possible support level that may give you another bounce toward monthly R1 here. If uh, we break below this level uh, down here, that will open the way back down to the bottom of this uh, channel, as you see here. <clears throat> so pretty interesting, but based on uh, the la the uh, last momentum we had it is uh, still uh, could be a bullish scenario keep an eye on this level uh, in case we have another bounce higher yeah if we look at the lows here we see that they're getting higher and higher especially on the daily we see here this was our last low and uh, since then the market was never able to make new lows we making higher lows instead um, so um, Keep an eye on that level uh, and down here at the neckline. Um, we're still trading below the 200 moving average, of course. Uh, the main uh, trend was still to the downside, but we could use these clues we have here with higher lows for a possible um, reversal. At least a deeper correction uh, is possible if we start uh, finding some bullish evidence in these areas. Sterling USD, as I said in the start, you maybe want to stay out of Sterling, but I will give you the technicals. And as you see here, after this uh, sharp drop to the downside, uh, which almost reached uh, this support level, we start to see the price pushing higher and higher. And last Friday, we broke above um, this neckline, which uh, usually signal a continuation. So without any Brexit vote or something like that, I would say that we should be looking for a continuation, that the reversal is now uh, maybe happening, especially after hovering for a long time here and then making this uh, break out above uh, this neckline. So if we didn't have that Brexit vote, I would say look for a possible correction toward this level for uh, and um, start looking for bullish evidence for the continuation to the upside. But with that uh, Brexit uh, vote we have on Tuesday, I would not say uh, that you should be looking for this because uh, what happened um, here um, this day during the Brexit vote, this whole move, uh, it, this volatility may happen once again on Tuesday. So um, you really uh, want to uh, be very, very careful. Many pro uh, brokers already sending emails about um, higher margin level and uh, lowering leverage and all that, uh, preparing for uh, the Tuesday vote. Okay. Um, USD Jappy, 
uh, as I mentioned in the weekly overview last week, we said uh, that now since we pushed back all the way up here to start looking for uh, possible support at the uh, 108 level and uh, maybe using the body of these candles as the last line of defense. Now, uh, last week um, we did hold uh, this support level and still holding it. And uh, I still think as far as there is a no break below this structure, this could be used as a possible support level and maybe a continuation toward the 110, still a possible scenario. But if the stock markets start moving lower once again and we break below this uh, level here, then uh, we maybe could start looking to sell this back down toward uh, monthly S2 down here as well. Okay, so um, these are the scenarios for um, UJ. Most of all, keep an eye on this 108 as a possible support level for now. USDCAD reached a pretty nice support level that Min mentioned also in the weekly overview last week and uh, what I'm talking about is this area here it's been acting as good support and resistance in the past and uh, we reached that level last week we've got uh, so far a little bit of a bounce uh, the RSI was at the uh, extreme oversold and uh, yeah it is an extended move and it could need some correction to the upside at least a 38.2 i would say uh, could be a possible area the 618 at monthly pivot point that would be an even better level but um, first off keep an eye on this area here where we had these structure if uh, this uh, correction to the upside would happen yeah so uh, in uh, our trading room we were watching uh, this um, range here on the one hour to see a possible break above that and maybe a continuation we've got the break it was late late friday so um, wasn't the best trading time but uh, one could still uh, be seeing this area here as a possible support looking for bullish evidence for that um, counter trend trade or a deeper correction um, the best level would be up here around these areas for a possible um, profit taking and maybe reverse the trade back down to the downside after this strong push lower so uh, yeah that was uh, usd cad and uh, aussie usd we take a look at that uh, the last market for today um, the weekly we see that uh, on the flash crash we pushed all the way toward uh, monthly s2 and these lows and after that we kept pushing higher so on the weekly time frame it seems like we still have room to reach these areas up here yeah uh, daily time frame uh, it feels like we losing some momentum since we reached these levels and as for friday we did reach an interesting uh, area here where we do have another high that could act as resistance uh, the move looks to be um, a bit extended now and uh, maybe uh, could be time for uh, some correction lower before any continuation uh, the um, RSI on the 4 hour been showing uh, divergence already from uh, this high to this high and um, we have this um, a little bit of a channel or a wedge going on here that we keep following yeah so since we have this uh, divergence and this uh, interesting area up here I'm looking uh, to see if we're gonna have uh, some kind of uh, break below of the channel and uh, maybe a correction. Uh, in any case, we should keep an eye on this area up here as a possible resistance. Yeah, for more upside, we want to see a break above that. And if that break is strong and hold above it, then there is a possible continuation toward these highs up here okay but uh, keep an eye on this channel and this uh, bearish divergence as i said one could see a possible uh, correction back down maybe toward these lows down here these areas uh, before any continuation on the pair so uh, yeah guys that was it this was uh, the last pair for uh, this week thank you very much once again if you like the video do not forget to hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe see you next week bye bye